Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, I'll be walking you through how I attempted to recreate these notes in Apple Notes. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human. Welcome back. You guys already know that Note 4 is my go-to note-taking app. I use it for work and whenever I have free time, I'm still trying to replace my med school notes that I threw away when I went paperless. I attempted to recreate these notes in Apple Notes to see if I could have the exact same notes in a different app. So the first thing I did was choose the pages that I thought would be the most challenging and interesting to replicate. I then airdropped them to my MacBook Pro because Noteful doesn't have a macOS version. And I have a MacBook Pro with an Intel chip. On my MacBook, I used Foxit Reader to see the notes that I would exported from Noteful. And I was set to start this conquest. For all my study notes, I use our digital notebooks. We will have a link to them in the description down below. They help me keep everything in one place, so I wasn't willing to give them up. I resorted to using the markup feature in Apple Notes to create these notes in the digital notebooks. This feature can open hyperlinks, which is great because it meant my digital notebooks would still work just fine. So far, I was pleased with myself. Adding a text box for my heading was the first challenge I encountered. The markup feature doesn't have enough text formatting features to support reproducing the look I have in note form. It doesn't support custom fonts and there is no way of knowing how big the font is. I settled to leaving the text as it is. Despite now having a lot of pen types in Apple Notes, its mockup feature still has one pen type. I don't like how my handwriting looks with this pen tool, but it's not the end of the world. Once I'd written a few sentences, I had to add an image. That was the end of my first attempt. I couldn't add an image, not even with drag and drop, which makes sense because PDFs are really just attachments. It made sense that I couldn't add a picture to an attachment. I had to try again. For my second attempt, I had to give up my digital notebook and use a paper template in the app. That annoyed me so much, I thought I shouldn't have to deal with the pen tool that I don't like, so I decided to use the pencil tool instead. I could at least have that, right? This time, adding and customizing the text in the text box was not a problem. Apple Notes now supports custom fonts. And I was able to adjust the font size. I also loved writing with the pencil tool. So I was a happy human. I did miss the margin in the digital notebook though. The app crashed the first time I tried to add an image. Then I tried again a second time and it crashed again and this time it deleted my notes. So my notebook disappeared, completely disappeared. 
I didn't think I would need a third trial, but here I am. This time I made sure the notes were saved before I added an image. I also decided to use the photos tool instead of dragging and dropping the photos into the app. Drawing arrows was so much easier in Apple Notes than it is in Noteful. I love the experience and my arrows look so much better. After writing some notes, I realized my diagram was a bit bigger than the one in Noteful, so I resized it and moved a few things around. The second image I added went to the body text section. Apple needs to find a way for us to easily choose how we want to add our images to our notes in the app. I had to drag and drop the image from the body section into the handwriting section. No matter how hard I try to rotate, after a certain point it just sort of resets. And I, I thought that was a bit weird. Since I couldn't zoom in on pages in Apple Notes, I had to use text boxes for the small writing I wanted to add to the notes. So in Noteful, I could easily just zoom in and add smaller handwritten notes, but unfortunately, I can't do that in Apple Notes. There are some parts that I drew in Noteful that I would have loved to just drag and drop into Apple Notes. But considering the way the app is crashing, when I drag and drop photos, I thought it best to draw them in Apple Notes. And I think they came out great. I am quite impressed by how these notes turned out. Apple Notes can now create decent notes, and that is simply amazing. Compared to the notes in note form, the ones in Apple Notes feel a bit cramped. Which notes do you think look better? In Noteful, I've left a lot of space for additional notes, but that is not a problem in Apple Notes because you can simply create some space whenever you need it. As much as I love the pencil tool and how my handwriting looks great in it, it's not really a note-taking tool, is it? The most pleasant surprise I had was with the PDF from the notes that I created in Apple Notes. Nothing got cut off in inconvenient places. The ink in Noteful looks much better and is easier to read than the pencil tool. The notes in Apple Notes pixelate when you zoom in on them. They don't even look that high resolution already without zooming in. Which is not a problem with Noteful. What do you guys think about this result? What other apps would you like me to challenge? Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.